Selling add-on products in our business is something that can really make a huge difference to our bottom line. And slideshows are one of the things that, that are great money. Well, what's neat about ProSelect is ProSelect can become our base interface that we can take and work with our images once and we can carry it through from the time we offload our images to all the way through our final production. We can even go through and make modifications in images to be able to add image effects, uh, do cropping and everything, and we never have to do it again, that it carries all the way through the process. Well, one of the neat features and opportunities for a great add-on product is Animoto. With Animoto, we can now take our images directly from ProSelect, pump them up to the Animoto servers and create a slideshow. Well, if you look at the images here, you can see I've gone through and I've actually taken and created some uh, different images here. I've gone through and I've added cropping effects to my images, um, done a little bit of pre-touching, added some different uh, effects using Photoshop actions. What we can do from here is I'm going to go to File, Animoto, and I'm going to click on Upload Images and Layouts. That opens up our Create New Animoto Movie dialog box. Here I've got some choices. What I want to do is I can create a DVD quality movie or I can create a web quality movie. Right now we'll go ahead and create a web quality movie. Next I want to check this open browser after upload. That one's real important. It's going to simplify everything for you and save you a step. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Now what I'm going to do is tell it where I want my images to come from. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead. All my images are actually in my Maybe tab. If you look over here I see all my images are my Maybe tab. So that's what we're going to use for the show. I'm going to tell it to go ahead and use cropping, image effects, and vignette. So what that means is that the images have been cropped. You can see this image up here has got an extreme crop to it. That's the way it will get uploaded for the slideshow. Uh, image effects. Over here you can see I've done a soft color effect to Photoshop Action. It would send that one out. It will also do the black and white. So over here I have a black and white image that I created using the B button. So that'll carry all those image effects. Now the vignette will only export if I have vignette enabled. Right now I don't have the vignette enabled on this uh, particular album so it won't send out the vignette. Well I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on here and it tells me that I've got 34 images. It tells me that a total of uh, 34 images will be selected. The th 34 of 300. 300 is the maximum I can upload at a time to Animoto. So I'm going to go ahead and click Send to Upload Manager. So what it's doing now is it's created a set of export files uh, that are sized just exactly for what we need for Animoto. Now this is using the ProSelect or the Time Exposure Image Uploader. When you load ProSelect now, all the new versions have the Image Uploader as a part of it. If for some reason, if you don't have the Image Uploader, uh, you can actually get it. It's a free download at the Time Exposure website. Well, if we look over here, I've got my Image Uploader, and we can see that our images are now uploading the Animoto movie. You can see it's 69% now, and so it's putting everything into that queue. But again, this uploader is essential, so you need to have that on your system. It's it's free. Go out there and grab it. Uh, if you've already if it's already loaded on your system, it'll be right there. All right. Well, you can see the it opened up my browser and it uh, flashed time exposure and then moved right into Animoto. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to sign into my Animoto here. And now what it does, it tells me that I'm ready to go. So at this point what we can do is I can scroll through all these different galleries here and we can go ahead and choose uh, an option for our show. Well I'm going to go down here and click the winding vine. So I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to tell it to go ahead and create the video. At this point you can see Animoto is actually retrieving the 34 items. Those are the images that we actually had uh, on the server. Now at this point I have the choice of being able to take and I can rotate images, duplicate images, delete images. There's an auto shuffle button in here. I actually rearrange my images in the way that I want them to appear uh, right in ProSelect so it automatically sent them right there. Uh, so this is where we can make any adjustments in the images. Well at this point all of my images are set. They're all uploaded in here so they're all fine. They're ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click done here. It's going to save that portion for me. And now we're going to go out and we're going to pick some music. Oops, I want to change the soundtrack. And so I'm going to select it. So we're going to go in here and I am going to look for some music here. 
found something I liked a little earlier. They got lots of nice music out here. Uh, we choose the track All Smiles, and I'll go ahead and select it. So now it's saving the music. You can see I have my All Smiles music selected. I'm going to go ahead and click Save and Continue. Now we can go ahead and tell it we have the choice of our um, image spacing and go half speed, normal speed, or 2x. We'll just go ahead and go with the normal. I'm going to go with a full length video. It's got my video style set and then we've got the um, Heidi Animoto logo that comes up by default. That's fine. And we're going to go ahead here. We can put a description or a title on there. Shannon 2011. Uh, we'll go ahead and produce by ronnichols.com and we could also put a uh, URL to have it automatically go to a URL at the end. We're going to go ahead and click create video. And Animoto is producing uh, our video. So it will go ahead and automatically produce the video and once it's all done it will be right available in your Animoto account. Our Animoto video is all finished uh, producing or rendering on the Animoto site. So let's take a look and see what we've got. What a neat and fun way to be able to take and share our videos. All we have to do to link it to our Facebook account, Twitter, or YouTube is simply click on the icons here and we can take it directly out to be able to share an image. A nice, simple, easy way to be able to work from ProSelect to be able to take advantage of social media marketing.